Hi, I'm Paul Rosen, and I have the honor of competing in three Paralympic Games and one para Pan American Games. And we brought back a bronze medal, the sitting volleyball team. It was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. But it's almost 2015, and the para Pan American Games are coming to Toronto. Yes, everybody in Canada. 2015 is a huge event. It's a qualifier for us for the 2016 Rio Paralympic Games. And uh, to be able to be in Toronto is even better. I think Toronto is the best city to be hosting these games. It's big, it's loud. People in Toronto love sport. And I think that they're just going to come out, they're going to fill the stands. Uh, J'ai vraiment hâte d'aller à Toronto. C'est une belle expérience. Puis je, je vais encore vivre ça, puis avoir euh, le pays dernièrement. moi. J'ai hâte d'aller euh, à Toronto, ça va être, ça va être le fun. Dans, dans la vie d'un athlète, c'est très rare que d'avoir la chance de vivre un événement multisport comme les Jeux Panaméricains. Pan J'espère vraiment être euh, parmi l'équipe canadienne qui vont représenter euh, le Canada aux prochains Jeux Panaméricains en 2015. Having an opportunity to be an athlete in your own country is one of the most incredible experiences you could have in your life. And we're going to have that. Et euh, encore une fois, d'avoir la chance de nager à la maison devant euh, le Canada, de, devant notre foule, avoir la foule derrière nous, ça va vraiment être un moment spécial et j'espère pouvoir euh, y être en 2015. It's kind of a broader experience than just the sport. There's a cultural aspect, and it's just a, an incredible experience as an athlete. And I can only imagine how fantastic it is for the spectators. Toute la foule est avec toi. C'est vraiment comme une fierté. En même temps. Tu montres à ton pays c'est quoi le sport paralympique, puis en même temps, en même temps de gagner des médailles, c'est vraiment une, une, une grande fierté. Certains vont peut-être penser que c'est de la pression. Par contre, moi, j'utilise cette énergie-là pour m'amener à nager plus vite, simplement. Alors vraiment, euh, euh, j'essaie vraiment d'utiliser l'énergie de la foule, l'ambiance. I think it's special with today with having a lot of the kids out today. It was great for them to first off see some wheelchair basketball, and now they can uh, get ready to see the games in 2015. I mean, they're going to probably go back home, tell their parents, tell their other friends, and so hopefully we'll just uh, get that snowball and just get more and more people for the next couple of years and get more and more awareness. And uh... I think the thing is with the kids too is we just want to teach them that you it doesn't matter if you're disabled or able-bodied that you can get out there and do something and enjoy yourself and have a good time and there's lots of opportunities you know they can just reach for the stars because here in Canada we have every opportunity to do whatever we want whether or not you have a disability or not. I think it is going to be huge for Canada in the awareness of parasport. I mean they're building facilities that are the most accessible that we've ever seen. Ça, ça montre aux gens qu'on est tous aussi athlètes, que, que des Des Olympiens ou des personnes euh, comme des personnes pas d'handicap, c'est ici, c'est notre pays, c'est tout le monde dans la foule, c'est pour nous qui nous encourage. We've got a job to do, we've got to be at top of the podium. You know, that is our primary goal, but there's so much more to experience that it just makes us richer as athletes and people. So this is a, a once in a lifetime experience, and I'm just grateful that the people of Ontario and Toronto and all of Canada get to experience it with us. The Para Pan American Games in 2015 in Toronto are going to be the best. Vive les Parapanam! <laughs>